How China Became the Leader in Electric Vehicles China has emerged as the global leader in electric vehicles, EVs, surpassing other major countries in terms of production and sales. This article explores how China achieved this position, highlighting the factors that contributed to its success. From addressing environmental concerns to implementing strategic policies, China's rapid growth in the EV market has been driven by a combination of factors. The next few minutes will explore the key elements that propelled China to the forefront of the electric vehicle race. China's oil dependency and pollution problem. China's rapid economic growth led to a surge in car ownership, resulting in increased oil consumption. With China importing the majority of its oil, the country faced a significant dependency on foreign sources. Additionally, the rise in car ownership contributed to severe air pollution, particularly in densely populated cities. The Chinese government recognized the need to address these challenges and sought alternative solutions. The Rise of Electric Vehicles in China China's journey towards becoming an EV leader began in 2011 when the country had only 500 EVs on its streets. Recognizing the potential of electric vehicles to reduce pollution and oil dependency, the Chinese government implemented various measures to promote their adoption. These measures included subsidies, favorable license plate policies, and the establishment of a robust charging infrastructure. Government Support and Subsidies To stimulate the EV market, the Chinese government provided substantial subsidies to both consumers and manufacturers. These subsidies, amounting to billions of dollars, made EVs more affordable for buyers. Additionally, the government encouraged local governments to purchase electric buses and taxis, leading to a significant increase in EV sales. However, the oversaturation of the market resulted in the collapse of many small EV companies. Consolidation and Market Competition to address the issue of oversupply and promote healthy competition, the Chinese government phased out subsidies and prohibited local governments from favoring specific companies. This move led to a consolidation of the market, with only the most competitive companies surviving. Today, Chinese automakers dominate the EV market, with one company, BYD, outselling the combined sales of several international brands. Foreign Competition and China's Credit System in a surprising move, the Chinese government allowed Tesla to build a factory in Shanghai without a local partner, signaling a shift towards embracing foreign competition. Furthermore, China implemented a credit system that requires automakers to sell a certain number of EVs for each conventional car produced. This system incentivizes companies to invest in EV production and purchase credits from competitors if they fall short. Tesla, being an EV-only manufacturer, has benefited significantly from this credit system. Challenges for the United States While China has made significant progress in the EV market, the United States faces challenges in catching up. The American market is starting from scratch, lacking a well-established supply chain for EV components. Additionally, American consumers have higher expectations regarding EV range, making it more challenging for manufacturers to meet their demands. The United States is now resorting to protectionist measures to increase domestic EV production, but it remains to be seen if these efforts will be successful. Conclusion China's rise to become the leader in electric vehicles can be attributed to a combination of strategic government policies, subsidies, and a focus on building a robust supply chain. The Chinese government's support for EVs, coupled with favorable license plate policies, has driven the rapid adoption of electric vehicles in the country. While the United States faces challenges in catching up, it is taking steps to promote domestic EV production. The global EV market continues to evolve, and China's success serves as a model for other countries looking to transition to electric vehicles. As always, do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel, All Things Money, to see more content like this.